On today's video, I will show you a platform that I use to increase my gain or to make profit on the crypto that I'm currently holding and how I can create a small passive income without doing anything. And I use this using Bitscap. I've been using this platform now for quite a long time and I will show you exactly what I do with it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a wonderful day as usual. My name is Carl. So like I said on this video, I'll be showing you exactly what I do with Bitscap. Um, because I know I did a couple of videos in the past and sometimes it can create some confusion because there's so much way we can see it and there's so much information when we try to understand how much money we can make or the profit that it's generated. But on today's video, I will show you how I use it personally to increase my gain or to increase my bag of crypto and all this without having to do anything. So I'll show you how simple it is and how you can copy my setting to make it possible for you also. So let's go to my computer and I will show you exactly how it's done. All right, if this is your first video on Bitscap, I'll put the link in the description if you want to give it a try. By using my link, you'll get a full two weeks free trial. And then you can decide if you want to get a subscription. About the subscription, they have three plans. They have the $19, $44, and $110 per month. Usually the first one, um, it's a good if you want to start. So you have like two maximum trading bot that you can use with a maximum volume of $25 monthly trading, uh, which pro will probably enough for most of the people. And they have the $44, so probably after a while, that's what I did myself, probably after a couple of weeks or a month, uh, I upgraded to the $44. And right now my personal account, I'm using the one at $110 uh, per month because I have uh, close to 10 bot uh, open. Uh, so I needed more than five. So that's what it is about a bids gap. So let me try to explain you how I use bids gap. When you're trading in crypto or when you want to make profit, there's two ways to make profit. You can make profit using a local currency or a fiat currency like US dollar, Canadian dollar. What I mean is you use your, let's say US dollar, you buy, let's say Bitcoin, Bitcoin increase in value, sell your your Bitcoin, and now you have more, uh, let's say US dollar in your pocket. Or the other way is, let's say you want to increase your profit in crypto. So let's say you own uh, Bitcoin and you would like to accumulate more Bitcoin. So what you do is you take your Bitcoin, invest in another coin that you know will do better. Let's say, Cardano. So you take your Bitcoin, you buy Cardano with it. After a while, Cardano increased in value. You sell your Cardano back in Bitcoin. You now have more Bitcoin in your hands. And this is exactly what I'll be talking about today with Bitscap. That's the way I do it. That's the way I prefer to use Bitscap with. You can use it if you want to increase your, uh, your, local currency like your US dollar, uh, but you always have to make sure that you are in a ranging market or on the uptrend market, because if the market is on the downtrend, you will lose a, a lot of money because your your the value of your coin will keep decreasing. So when you sell back, uh, you'll have less in your pocket. So if you trade coin for coin, the value of your local currency doesn't matter at all. I don't care right now if let's say Ethereum is going up or down um, for the last couple of weeks. All I want is to accumulate more Ethereum so when the price starts to pick up or when I feel the price of Ethereum is high enough, I can sell all those Ethereum and make profit out of it. So let's go on my screen and I will tell you exactly how it's done. So this is an example. So I created a bot two days ago, actually. So two days and one hour, you can see it right here. So what I did, uh, there's multiple coin that I really like, but two of them is BNB, the Binance coin, and DOT, which is Polkadot. Those are two coin that I keep accumulating. And honestly, I start accumulating a BNB 
uh, not even 10 months ago when it was below $80 per coin. And right now, uh, BNB, it's worth over um, $300 or $400 right now. Um, so I'm a big profit right now with BNB. And I want to keep accumulating more BNB as much as possible because I really believe in BNB and also believe in DOT. So in my exchange, I do own some coin, different kind of coin. I own a Polkadot, I own a Cordano, and I own, a, let's say, BNB. So what if I use something like a bids gap and use two of those two coins that I already own, that I already have, and make them work together. So trading them together once against the other to make profit and increase the value of that coin. So this is exactly what I'm doing with bids gap. So what I did two days ago, I opened up a trading bot to trade BNB against DOT. So basically, I'm using as my main currency, I'm using BNB, and I will trade it against DOT to accumulate more BNB. So it doesn't matter what happened in the market. If the value of BNB or DOT go down or go up in, let's say, US dollar, I don't care because I'm not looking to sell any of those coins anytime soon. All what I want is to accumulate more of that specific coin in that case would be BNB so all what I did I created a I'll show you in a few minutes I create a bot BNB against dot open that trade or I opened that bot two days ago and after two days after two days I'm already at six percent in profit which mean I have accumulate 0 0.068 uh, BNB coin uh, in two days which in US dollar it would represent $31 and my average right now it's a bit high because the the price did pump uh, last night but I'm looking as an average probably anywhere between 1 um, to 1.5 percent daily profit on my BNB coin and I can let it run as long as I want but for bits cap um, they do use the US dollar to show you your profit. So this first one right here would be my bot profit. So my BNB profit converted in US dollar. And the change right here would be the real profit in US dollar, which means if I would sell all my dot in that trade, in that bot, I mean, and my BNB, everything back in US dollar, my total profit after the bot profit will be 0.3 percent but i'm not expecting to sell my dot or my bnb soon all i want is to accumulate more bnb so this number even if it goes negative for me i really don't care i would just want to keep those two accumulating so three percent per day right now anyway but let's say i average one 1.5 percent per day it's pretty darn good so how I do it, usually go here and I select my uh, my coin. So let's say I would like to uh, trade BNB. And you can see with BNB, this is all the coin I can trade with. So I'll be looking, let's say for, um, uh, let's say I would like to trade BNB against Cardano. So there we go. So let's say I would like to uh, use my BNB trade it against BN, uh, ADA, so Cardano, to accumulate a more uh, BNB. So I would select this right here, and then you would see the grid, uh, default grid appearing on your screen. So depending how much fun you have available, you need to adjust it. So to be able to open up the default grid, I would need 18 uh, BNB, which is pretty high. So what you can do, usually what I do, I'll just decrease the, this right here. And I will also decrease my grid. So each grid, as we can see right now, so every step of this grid, if we look right here, between each line, it represents 0.32%. So, and that's after the fees. So that's a bit low. Anyway, I prefer to have something anywhere between 0.5 and 0.75%. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll decrease my grid to have something higher right here. So 0.56% would be good. So every line represent 0.56%. So 
So every time the price go through one of those lines, it will trigger a buy or a sell. So if the price go up, it will trigger a sell. And if the price start to go down the other way, every time it cross the line, it will trigger a buy. So what it does, it buy low and sells high. And that's all what it does automatically multiple times a day. Just to give you an idea, the, this bot uh, I cre was created two days ago. And it did already it already did 155 transactions in the last two days. So that's quite a lot. So you can so you adjust, you make sure you have, like I said, at least 0.5%. Um, anything between 0.5 1% is good. But for me personally, I, I, I like to be between 0.5 and 0.75% profit. And then you can readjust it. And now you can see I still need 2.6 BNB to open up that uh, bot. So what I can do, if it's still too much, I can reduce this even more. All right. So if I reduce it, let's say to 10 grid, because I really lower my upper and lower band. Uh, so 10 grid would be 0.5%. That would be good. So to start this trade or to start this bot, I would need above just 1%. If I want to increase it a little bit more, I still need the one BNB, but my grid level now is increasing. So if you want to make sure you're covering everything, you can do this like this, or you can increase your grid right here. So if I do a back test, so I can have an ID how it was performing in the past. So that will represent 0.57% for the last three days, 1.33% for seven days, and 5.69% for 30 days. Um, back test is just uh, in the past, it, no, it doesn't necessarily represent what it will perform in the future. It's just to give you a small ID. Basically, what you're looking for is to have a pair that would having a lot of up and down like this. So the more you have up and down, the more buy and sell the bot will do. So the more profit you will make. And once you're done, well, actually, there's two other options that you can activate. There's a trailing up. It means if the price go off the grid, the grid will keep moving up with your uh, with the price. So you're you're still trading. And also you can activate the trailing down so it will trail down on the way down and you can have a stop uh, trailing down so you can say to your bot okay to a certain point stop going down um, and it will just stop creating new grid so when you're happy with your sitting all you have to do is to uh, click right here there will be a button to start your um, your grid uh, but since i don't have enough money in that account i cannot uh, start it so if i go back to my uh, current example right here so i start my bot right here two days ago and all the green dot is a buy and all the red dot are a sell so every time the price was going through the grid. So let me lower this to five minutes. So every time it was going through the grid, it was doing a buy or a sell. So as you can see, there was it, the price was moving up. So it was selling every time it was going through the grid was coming coming back down it was buying buying and then selling again and it keep moving all the way up till now and this bot i can let it run as long as i want um why well because it doesn't I, it doesn't affect me what's the actual market value i know dot will go up in the next few weeks few days few months and BNB also, I know it will go up in the next few days, weeks, and month. So it doesn't matter. I hold those two coins anyway in my exchange. I might as well use them to trade them between each other and make profit every single day. You can do the same thing with a currency like US dollar. So in right here, instead of BNB would be US dollar. But like I said, make sure uh, that you're not going on a downtrend because you're 
you will lose money after a while and it will be tougher uh, to make your profit back. So BizGap, if you're using a fiat currency, it's perfect when the market is ranging or on the uptrend. But if you're using a two crypto pair like this, the value, uh, it doesn't matter. If the market's going up, down, sideways, it just doesn't matter. As long you got volatility between two coin, you'll be making money. So what I'm doing, I'm accumulating more BNB. I'll keep my BNB. And when we get close to the end of the bull market, if uh, depending what's the value of the BNB at that moment, well, I will probably sell a portion of those coin to take some profit. But until then, I'm not looking to sell any of those coin. So this value for me right here, it doesn't really matter. So having a system in place that can make you one or two percent per day on your crypto, it's very interesting. Uh, even at the bank, you can barely get this for a whole year. Uh, so to be able to make a, a small profit day after day on your crypto, well, it could be uh, uh, very interesting. And on top of this, your crypto take a value after a while. So you're accumulating, you're making profit on your crypto. And on top of it, that crypto is gaining in value. So you're making a lot more money. So when you're ready to sell your coin, so you can cash in the profit on all the profit you did. So I hope you did like this video. Um, I hope it wasn't too confusing. Uh, if you have any qu comment or question, well, you can leave them below in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, well, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And by the way, if you did like this video, I would really appreciate if you would give me a like on this video. And until the next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.